why can't the you know like an African government just say, look, you know, we're going to stop the mining. Mm -hmm. You know, App Apple can no longer have our products. Mm -hmm. Um, we will mine it ourselves properly, mm -hmm. regulate it, mm -hmm. and this is the price you'll pay. Why can't they do that? So, because of the current system and how it's set, the people in charge of the operation are in bed with the enemy because the system that's developed in, on the African continent yeah. is that the, the face that are often referred to as puppets, the puppets of Africa, are um, filling up their pockets with cash. Mm -hmm. And out of survival instinct, it seems like a more viable option than standing up. Because each individual who stood up alone, we know what destiny found them, right? Mm. So this is what you're looking at. You're looking at individuals who can't stand up alone for the fact that by doing it by yourself, it's game over, right? So to regulate that system, you're, you've got no choice but to look at an African revolution. There's, there's no other ways I could put this in simple terms, mm. right? But the revolution, prior to being a physical one, if it had to be one, it would have to be a mental one first. The, my, my favorite quote in terms of African leaders is one from Thomas Sankara. He says that you must decolonize your mind. Make it your personal mission to detach yourself with concepts and ideas which do not belong to you. It's your task. No one else's, mm. you know? And it, this is, I think, the, the starting point for uh, a better Africa and better Africans all around the globe. Yeah.